What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So man, it feels like it's been forever since I gotten a chance to do a video on this build just between the holidays, family time, and uh, all the issues that uh, I've been dealing with with the coilovers and, and kind of getting that all fixed up. Uh, you know, like if you haven't watched those videos, I did a couple review videos on the FOA coilovers I thought about going with and then did a, uh, a comparison video with the Fox coilovers that I ended up deciding to go with. Uh, so all that kind of took some time to, you know, get the new coilovers here, get everything that I needed to start, to start actually, uh, doing the, uh, the towers and everything for the back. Um, so today we're going to start working on getting the back of the Jeep on its weight. Hopefully, uh, got a kind of a lot to do. So the first thing is I got to get the, uh, towers welded together. Um, the, the towers I went with from Barnes. They, they come with the actual mounts uh, detached. So you just gotta uh, weld them into place on the top of the tower. Uh, I like to use the spacers. I'm gonna be doing inch and a half mounts. So I have uh, three spacers equals out to the inch and a half. And uh, all I'm gonna do is use that to kind of help me line everything up. And then I'm gonna tack that in on the, uh, the top of the tower. Uh, it just kind of helps me get everything lined up. Uh, that way, while I'm tacking it, I don't have any issues with, with one being a little crooked, the bolt maybe not sliding through straight. Um, so it's just kind of the way that I like to do it. It helps me keep everything kind of in line. All right, guys, so I got the, the towers are all clamped up and, and situated how I want them. Uh, now, I wanted to go through a couple things with you guys uh, number one, why, why I have them positioned the way I do. And, and number two, uh, you know, how I did it now, you know, why, why do I have them straight up and down the way I do, uh, instead of leaning back, you know, a lot of people will lean their towers back, um, to, to kind of help make sure that they can fit a, you know, a larger coilover in and, and not have to notch or cut the, the tub. Um, I, I obviously don't mind cutting the tub. So, for me, moving this uh, this tower up and through the tub, it, it doesn't bother me. Um, now, the other reason I didn't want to lean it back is because when you do lean your your coilovers, it, it plays a factor on on a couple things. Uh, you know, depending on how severe the angles are, it it'll affect spring rate. Um, the other thing is is you know depending on the angle again, you're you're also gonna you know play a factor in your actual travel. Uh, you know, the, the way the axle moves and swings on that arc, you know, depending on how the angle is, you, you're not going to get like, say like with my instance, I have 14 inch coilovers, uh, on full droop, I might not get that full 14 because the axle is swinging forward and away. And that angle is here. So now my travel is at an angle and my actual up and down you know, I might lose an inch or two or, you know, it all depends on the angle and, and a bunch of other factors, but you can lose some of your, your travel, uh, by having the coilover straight up and down and having very minimal angle change through the, uh, the range of motion of the axle, you know, that you're going to get your, you know, as close to 14 inches as, as you can. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I picked, you know, this position, uh, now, how I got it all lined up and, and, and trued up on the frame the way it is, is as you can see, I have it clamped to the frame rail and I hung my plumb bob off of the upper mounting bolt. So that, that, that plumb bob, the line for it is centered on that bolt and it's dropped down and it's landing centered on that uh, lower frame, uh, lower axle mount. And all I did was hold that up so I could just make sure that the plumb bob, the line is is falling right in the center of that mount. And then what I did was I took a measurement on the upper tower, the upper area from the back edge to the center of the string line is an inch and three quarters. And what I did was I shifted this around until the bottom matched. So the bottom edge matched at an inch and three quarters. So what that does is that puts that coil over when that axle is under full bump and that coilover is pushed back as far as it's going to go, you know that you have clearance between the springs and the back of the tower. So now that all that's done, I have the frame marked. I got to get this chunk cut out so I can get the tower welded in. But before I can do that, I got to get some support under the center of the frame. 
Uh, right now I have the, the Jeep uh, frame supported on the very back and the very front. And I just don't want to take this chunk out of the center and, and have it, you know, the frame rail twist or droop or something funny. So let me get a jack stand underneath this, uh, the center. I'll figure out a way to get some support there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this chunk cut out. I'm gonna get the lower brackets on. Um, so I'm gonna be mounting these um, at, so I have the axle jacked up just like before up to full bump. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna actually be mounting these at zero degrees. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are perfectly flat. So they're gonna be the same uh, as the towers. And then from there, I'm gonna be mounting them about, it should be two and five eighths in off the backing plate uh, and that should give me plenty of room for the tire under articulation i'll cycle the suspension and double check it but um having it here is a good starting point just because i know that there's plenty of room for the link um and i've already kind of checked it a little bit and it look i have tons of room with these being full width axles and then on top of that having the four and a half inch back spacing on the wheels i mean the back side of the wheel is pretty even with this backing plate so I've got loads of room. Now, as you can see, I got the coilover thrown on. I only have one spring on it. I just did that just to be able to compress it a little bit easier. Um, you know, this is all just to verify that there's enough clearance under full articulation for the tire. We just want to make sure that the tire doesn't get into the um, get into the springs 
Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this tire on. Like I said, I, I'm already pretty confident. Like there's there's tons of room here. Um, I actually think I could even go wider, which I might. Um, but this is a, more of a necessity if you're doing like a narrower track um, axle. Like if you're doing this, uh, trying to maintain stock uh, width, then you're really gonna have a lot tighter of a space here. And you're, you're definitely gonna wanna do this when setting up your coils. Uh, with, with setting up your coilovers because you want to make sure to get them as wide as you can, but you, you don't want to, you know, sacrifice articulation, um, you know, and end up having to have issues with running into it or having to limit travel because of, because of your coilover location. So uh, this is, this is really a, an important step, um, especially when you're running a narrow width axle. Uh, for me, I'm just doing it just to double check. And also, like I said, I, I would like to get this a little wider if I can, but I think even where it's at, it's still going to perform really well. Um, it's just more of a, I like to double and triple check myself just to make sure I don't have any issues. Worst case, this is one side fully stuffed, the other side is uh, under full uh, full droop, and as you can see, we still got you know a couple inches uh, to spare, and that that's what we need. So that's what I wanted to verify. So now I'm gonna get this tire back off. I'm gonna go ahead and burn this bracket in, get the other side done, and we get the Jeep on its weight. So I'm really happy with it. it looks great, man. Those tires look sweet on this Jeep. All right, well that does it for this video. I still got a bunch left to do on the back half of this, but it is on its weight, which is super exciting. I, I'm I'm super stoked about this. It looks great. I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, I still got to do bump stops, limit straps. I got to get a, a way to mount these uh, reservoirs up onto the tub. And I'm gonna be doing all that in the next video. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Until then guys, hopefully you'll like, subscribe, support the channel. Uh, hopefully we can grow this channel big enough to start doing more giveaways and stuff like that. So, um, the more of you guys that subscribe, the more it helps the channel. So I appreciate you guys as always until next time, guys, take it easy.